And the Tennessee Valley continues to experience a lack of rainfall, leading to extremely dry conditions, and the conditions has led to that enhanced fire risk for Alabama. Right, this past weekend, there were 52 active fires in Alabama, 18 of those fires here in North Alabama. News 19 meteorologist Jessica Camuto has more on the enhanced fire risk in the area. Deep as we put a fire lane in, that would be from, you know, almost a foot up, and we're not seeing any moisture. As the lack of rainfall continues, drought conditions worsen here in North Alabama, leading to an enhanced fire risk. Dry roots and stuff, they can smolder underground and then pop up on the other side of our, our line, and it just compounds things of fires escaping. You know, when, when the fuel is that dry, you have uh, burning snags, smoldering snags, blows embers across the line, and then we have a breakout. Terry Ezell with the Alabama Forestry Commission says the fall season adds to the current fire risk as falling leaves become fuel. Uh, we have some leaf fall. It covers up our, it covers up our uh, fire lines, and then the fire slowly creeps across on those leaves that just fell and then they and it takes back off again. Aircraft is used to assist firefighters by suppressing fire, but more importantly, we're patrolling every day. Uh, when it upticks like this, we may make two rounds a day. You know, when we're not busy with fire or rehabbing our equipment, we actually patrol ourselves. On Sunday, an aircraft spotted a fire in Lawrence County that had rekindled. Ezel says during a drought, this is common and this particular fire remains contained. Uh, a contained fire is, is what we consider we have it, uh, a fire lane around it and we are monitoring it, but we don't call it control till all the, when it gets this dry, we don't call it control till we get all the smoldering embers and, and all out. With low rain expected in the coming days. We're definitely making plans for it to get worse. You know, we're preparing for the worst, hoping for the best. We may move uh, resources as needed to areas of the state as they get drier, and, and that's what we'll be looking for down the line. A fire alert remains in effect for the area. This means that to burn over a quarter acre, you must have a permit. Those who are caught will face a misdemeanor and we'll have more information on the fire risk for the area on WHD.com.